My name is Dora Amwabento, and I'm the program manager for the BSO Ghana Education Program. And my role is to develop partnership in the education program, and then also to support volunteers who work on the program. Um, VSO in education, um, what we are doing is to work to improve quality and access to education for all children in basic schools. And we do that in the three northern regions of Ghana, that is Upper East, Upper West, and Northern Ghana. And we are working to improve teaching and learning um, using volunteers to train and support classroom teachers in basic schools which is a bit lacking, even though we have some teachers trained and others untrained. When it comes to continuous professional support for these teachers, they don't get it. And that's the area that VSO is currently focusing on and strengthening the structures that should be providing this kind of continuous professional support. We also work to strengthen the management capabilities of the education providers, that's the education managers. And we do this at the district level by placing volunteers that we call management support officers who work with this district education officers, strengthening the capabilities of head teachers and directors of education to plan, monitor, and supervise and support teachers in a much more professional and, and better way. And then we also um, work to um, improve on community engagement, you know, supporting PTAs and community members to become more engaged with education at the district level and see how they can contribute to make it better. Yeah. And then we have a cross-cutting team, of course, of gen in gender, um, disability, and HIV and AIDS. I believe in volunteering because what I've found about the volunteers is their commitment. You know, every volunteer is so much committed, you know, much more than people who are just, you know, have to be there because their job demands that they are there. So even if you take the international volunteers, people come for one year, come for six months, come for, you know, two years or even two weeks, you know. But once they are coming, they have in mind that, yes, I'm here. I want to contribute. I want to do something, you know, to bring about a change. And they are focused and they go for it. And their presence, you know, serves as some kind of a catalyst to ginger the people around them. So, for instance, if you put place a volunteer within um, a district education office, just the presence of that volunteer, you know, makes the people that are around know and feel that, no, there is somebody. He's here to do something with us. Let's get on. Let's all get to doing, you know. So that kind of um, encouragement, inspiration comes through the volunteers that we are able to place. And because of that, they are able to contribute meaningfully. And the fact that they are also sort of there permanently, almost permanently, within that one year or six months, on a daily basis with people, they are able to achieve things that will not happen if you just bring people once in a while to a classroom or to a workshop situation to build their capacity. No, it's not like living with the people and then being able to make those connections and contribute. I think that's very key.